goodness. Look at this. This is their carpeting. Betty, what are you doing? What is that? Is that mommy's makeup? <laughs> yeah. No, no. Look at your face. Look in the mirror. Say good morning, guys. Well, good morning, guys. I still have my towel on my head because I'm not even finished getting ready. And I walk out of the room. And yes, this is what happens when you walk out of the room with a toddler. He gets into everything. This morning, Asher woke up. And do you want to show them what Asher did this morning? Oh, so Asher got into my makeup in here as well. And... <laughs> You know, it's one of those things where like you have to laugh because it happens so fast like they can get into I mean he took the whole entire thing of makeup out and it doesn't even look that bad. Thankfully, it's like a light color, but oh my goodness It's so loud in here. I'm gonna turn the volume down, but yeah, he got into my eyeshadow and I'm kind of confused where it's all at because it doesn't seem like a lot, but it's missing from there so I don't know if it's like down in the cracks. I don't know, but good morning once again, you guys. I ended up vlogging Asher getting into my makeup and then I set the camera down and that was pretty much all I did that day. So today is Thursday and I'm picking up the camera and the reason being is life got a little hectic the past few days. Um, something happened at my parents' house, which I'm going to show you guys in a little bit and yeah, and I'm wearing Justin, my husband's glasses, because mine have been broken for over a year. Asher broke them probably a year ago, and I have never gotten them fixed yet. Today, my contacts were really bothering me, so since I have to go out to my parents' house, I'm wearing his. So, so I actually have an eye appointment on Saturday, so I'm hoping to take that and get it fixed. But it is a new morning for us, and Aubrey is dressed. Asher is about to get dressed. You ready to get dressed, buddy, and go to Grandma's house? Do you want to um, tell them a little bit what happened at Grandma's house? Um, the top part they fell down and the dining room and down. All the way down the into the basement. basement. Hey, and mister. I know that's like too. one of those erasable markers. Too. Yeah, so I'm going to show you guys. That's why I'm actually vlogging today because I'm going to my parents' house today. My, um, I wanted to vlog. Their ceiling. My grandma lives at the house. She actually lives in my old bedroom. And um, there's like hair in my mouth. And she, her toilet, something happened to her toilet. It busted overnight, and the it went through the ceiling. The like the whole entire ceiling fell down. Stuff broke. Like water went through there. It went all the way into the basement. I mean, my dad said he went down into the basement, and there was like an inch of water just sitting on top of the carpeting throughout the whole entire basement. So he hurried up and called the regist or registration um, restoration company, and they came that day, and they like tore the ceiling down and like they had like these fans going like blowing like getting like all the carpeting all the water out of the carpet i'm not sure if they're gonna be replacing the carpet because it stinks so bad in there right now it smells like i can't even do this with these glasses on they're so dirty but it stinks so bad in their house right now because of all like the water and the um i mean i don't know it just smells really bad so i'm gonna show you guys exactly what happened it's kind of like crazy um and yeah, so that's what we're doing. We're getting ready to head out the door. Like I said, I have myself and Aubrey ready. I'm going to get Asher dressed. And then we're going to head out to my parents' house. So here we have it. <laughs> we have our fans running. This is like they're carpeting. They're trying to dry it out, I guess. And then um, this all fell through. The bathroom's like right there. So this is their ceiling. You, the table and everything didn't get here. Stay here. You can't go in there, okay? Because this part of the wall like, is still kind of like sketchy. So I don't want the kids going in here. But um, yeah, like they came and they boxed a lot of stuff up. Like all my mom's like like chinaware that was in her um, china, china closet. Is that what it's called? Is all in that box right there. And then just a bunch of things. And like look right there. Let me zoom in on it. If you can see what that is. That is a lava lamp that used to be mine. I don't even know if you guys can hear me, but um, I hope you can. But yeah, so this is the remnants of what happened on Memorial Day. Here's some more fans too that they have. They have what, one, two, 
three, four, five, six fans. But oh my goodness, look at this. It is like crazy. And like the walls are like caving in here. But um, yeah. What do you think, buddy? What happened? They took all the padding out. And like this tube right here, this tube is like running all the way like up up here and into here actually there's no water coming out of it right now but yesterday I was here and it was like water was just pouring out of it and that was like two days later but it doesn't seem like there's much water coming out of it now but my dad um, and like my dad didn't hear anything my grandma was upstairs and she said she heard noises but she didn't think anything of it. and when she woke up the next morning she thought it was just raining outside and it was actually water just pouring down and my dad said he heard the water the next morning too and he just thought that it was raining and like and came out here and I guess got quite a surprise and I guess whenever he came out like the walls were still falling down too so very crazy I'll show you guys what the downstairs looks like too um, that's pretty much just as bad Ooh, it is so much All right, so here is the basement. There's two fans here, and I'm gonna try and talk as loud as I can because I don't know if you guys can hear me or not. There's a fan here, this big machine, and then like all this stuff's kind of moved here. It's actually like I'm walking with my bare feet and it's actually dry right now, so. Um, they took up all the wood trim. Here's a fan here, fan here, fan here, fan there, and then ceiling. So everything basically here got wet and then like they had to pull off all the blue all the wood trim here all the way to here so basically like it flooded the pool and my parents pool entire basement like this is the it's all the way out to this much I mean that's where the pool is right over there so it got a lot so it's definitely it's gonna be a process of getting this all figured out and fixed up. But I want to show you the garage too. So here is the garage. You're gonna be able to hear me better. So they have actually like this whole pile of stuff right here is everything that was in the attic that fell down when the um, ceiling collapsed. And a lot of it's wet. And I feel bad because this right here, we my mom has a baby shower to go to. And this was all the presents. The presents that she got for the little girl or for my our friend for her baby shower for her little boy and it's all like drenched i mean obviously we can wash and just give it to her you know clean but so like all this stuff and a lot of this stuff in here is like my stuff from whenever i was younger and we just kind of like never got rid of it so we have to go through this stuff and see what's salvageable but look at this look at this this is a picture that was drawn of me whoa gosh i don't even know how long ago that was but so we have that and then we have this stuff that they kind of this is all like the wood trim that was in the basement that was pulled up and then all this stuff right here was kind of pulled out of the room as well and I think it's fine this is actually our car seat that we're gonna be needing soon but um, yeah I think this stuff's all fine it's just that they pulled it out wiped it down and just got it out of that room so they could get the floors all cleaned up but yeah, I don't even know, like I didn't even, I'm not sure if you guys could even hear anything that I was saying while, cause those fans are just going like crazy. But um, yeah, like I said, it was, it's definitely gonna be quite the process, but it's actually later. I ended up coming down here and filming the second, the bottom part, like it's around almost 4.30. So I decided um, to film and I'm like, crap, I forgot to show you guys that. So it is later, we've been just kind of like, I work and then um, we've been, hanging out the kids have been playing and my grandma is actually making um thursdays we have family dinner so my grandma is making salisbury steak and it looks really good i'm going to show you guys how's it coming graham mm. i wanted to show what was going on in the kitchen yeah so this is the pioneer ladies recipe which you've made it before but you don't remember it was good whenever you made it last time pioneer woman is grandma's favorite would you say that's your favorite cooking show, Pioneer Woman. <laughs> yeah. 
she wishes it all the time and jots down yeah. the recipes as you can see. So yeah, we're looking nice. forward to that. My mom is probably getting done with work in the next yeah. eight minutes and then my dad should be here and all the other guys. So that's what's going on right now. What is that? Excavator. Excavator, good job. Look at this mess we got going on here. Me and Carly just finished cleaning the basement, or the basement, the playroom. And now we got this mess. The kids are playing. What is that? Yaki, don't just put stuff in your mouth. Oh goodness. Oh boy. What else are you doing, bud? Playing? All right, the living room is clean, and it's extremely hot in here from those hot, hot fans running. So what are we gonna do? Go outside? And play. Okay. What do you see? Bug. bug. Where? Are you stepping on it? You get it. Look at all these pictures. Look, Pap Pap drew all these pictures yesterday. And kind of the rain, the school bus, the penguin, a house. What else did he draw? The rain kind of got most of it, didn't it? But the sun, a rocket. You want to show them the uh, strawberries, Ubs? You want to show them the strawberries? No. I'm gonna show them it because it's kind of cool. So I think I did show this last year, but a bird must have been driving or driving, flying by, and it must have like dropped the seeds here. So my mom at first thought that they were like weeds, and she was getting ready to pull them out, and then she noticed that they're straw little strawberry, little strawberries are growing on them. And Aubrey actually has been like going every day, which it looks like there might be a little bit of a ripe one. It's kind of. Aubrey has been going like every day she's been here like looking to find if she can find any ripe ones and eating them. But yeah, it's all through here. And there's some over here. But yeah, oh look, there's a good one right down there. But yeah, so she's been really into eating that. And the funny thing is, is she's not eating any of the strawberries that I, I buy. She's been eating just those ones, so. But we're gonna play. Aubrey and Asher just got a bath in grandma's bathtub and now we're playing with all grandma's hair hair accessories and we're getting ready to go home what do you think bud you tired see it is actually what time is it? it's actually 9 30 and it yeah it's 9 30 but honestly like the kids it's summertime and the kids don't fall asleep until <coughs> They like have been fighting going to bed lately, so we kind of just been hanging out here. Actually, last night we didn't go home until what time did I leave your house yesterday? Like 10. <coughs> and I thought, okay, they're gonna fall asleep in the car. It'll be perfect. I'll just put them right in the bed. I got home. Both of them are just wide awake, just like ready to go. So, um, but Asher didn't take a nap today, so that's gonna be. I'm almost positive he'll probably fall asleep, but. We are just hanging out here. I told Aubrey she had 10 more minutes. She wanted to play. She said she wanted to brush grandma's hair and grandma is brushing her hair which is good because Aubrey is I think I've mentioned before hates 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 getting her hair brushed and for some reason grandma so must do it hair. nice which is funny because I always hated I would always scream bloody murder when you brushed my hair when I was little yeah. <coughs> well now they have now. yeah so um grandma's brushing Aubrey's hair <laughs> And um, the reason it's wet was, well, they got a bath, but we didn't wash it today because it wasn't really due for it. But the kids were playing with the hose, the hose, and they were spraying each other. So that's why they're wet, they're dirty, they've been playing in the sandbox, they had popsicles all over them. And yeah, so they got a bubble <laughs> bath in my mom's bathtub. So we are going to end the video. What you doing over there, buddy? What are you playing with? He's like, that's what he likes to do. We're going to end this video. If you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up. And what else? And subscribe. And we'll see you in our next video. Bye. Bye.